What's going on guys, today I'm just going to be showing you a quick video explaining the talents I chose for Windwalker Monk class. This is preferably player versus environment, so for raiding and um, dungeons, not really PvP, but also it's PvP, so I'm just going to be explaining the talents I chose, why, and also the rotations. Well, not really rotation of priorities, and I really hope you enjoy, you guys. First of all, I'll be going over the talents. Firstly, I chose out of the three talents here, Celerity, which basically gives you the extra roll and reduces the cooldown of all the rolls by five seconds. And I chose this over Momentum. Tiger's Lust is more of a PvP thing. And I chose Celerity over Momentum uh, because I actually think that as in raids you sometimes you're forced to quickly just dart around the like arena which you're fighting and celerity gives you that extra roll which in my opinion gives you that extra speed bonus to quickly move around the map a lot quicker and that's why I've chose that talent my second talent I chose chi wave because that actually does the most healing out of Three of them. The only problem is, I think I think Chi Wave is a bit is a bit bogged. I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't it only re it doesn't bounce between allies. It only bounces between between enemies and allies, and sometimes it doesn't even bounce between them, which is annoying. But I'm hoping Blizzard will fix that. Then for my third talent choice, I chose Power Strikes, meaning every 20 second your jab ability which is like one of your main abilities generates an extra chi which uh, which i think is quite good ascension i don't think is very helpful for windwalker and chi brew better for the burst situation but you know uh, in my opinion i think windwalker moments have more constant damage and the power strikes ability in my opinion is the best and then for the next talent i chose leg sweep really good helping helping the tanks um, quickly quickly helping the tanks like if there's a massive load of enemies coming if you quickly can stun them all for five seconds it relieves the healer of some serious healing like that i think is the best out of these these three the fuse magic is my next choice because i think overall this is is probably the best i mean the fact that it can reverse magical effects back to the caster is really helpful and it's on a fairly short cooldown so and that's quite good and then for my final I chose invokes you in the white tiger because that's the best for burst situations I and mean, don't I don't really find rushing jade wind will be that very helpful apart from for AoE occasions but really really if you're a raider you're mostly fighting single bosses so that's the best choice. And then for glyphs, ignore this glyph because the glyphs, the glyphs are hard to choose. But I thought for minor glyph, glyphy blackout kick, meaning your blackout kick always deals twenty percent additional damage over four seconds, meaning more DPS. Glyph for sparring, while sparring you also have a five percent chance to deflect spells from attacks in front of you, second up three times, which means you have a fifteen percent chance a lot. Uh, some of the time to deflect spells which is good and then Fist of Fury while trying to Fist of Fury your potions increase by 100% meaning you just save like if an enemy comes up behind you you can still parry them whilst they're not stunned now there isn't really a rotation for Windwalker monks I think after Wrath of the Lich King they sort of got rid of the whole rotation to maximise damage and more just made things priorities if you understand what I mean so I'm gonna have the I'm gonna write them down so you can see but the main priorities are three stacks of Tiger's Palm which basically means you, your attacks ignore 30% of armor you want to always have rising sun kicks abilities up which means um your your monk's abilities and deal 10% more damage to the target. You always want to have that up. Whenever this is gone off cooldown, this fury, you want to use that. Also, when this, when Tiger Eye Pure and um, Tiger Eye Brew gets the 10 stacks, you should always pop that for extra DPS. 
and invoke during the right time should always be used and they're like the most the main priorities so usually what I do is this is in any situation because of the jab because of um, the power strikes ability I always at the start of a fight when I cast jab I always get three chi meaning I can do one rising sun kick one tiger's palm then I can do jab again luckily I got an instant prop then so I can do one one more tiger power and another one three stacks but now I've also got one chi left so I just I just use that then so first of all basically I make sure first of all basically I make sure that I've got rising sun kick debuff on the um, on the target and I have three stacks of, of tiger power then afterwards I just cast blackout kick until rising sun kicks back off cooldown then since I still have a fist of fury I start to use that for lots of damage and I can use blackout kick again I've got an instant proc for, ta for tiger's palm and blackout kick and tiger's palm still has 14 seconds left so I've got plenty of time so all what I always do as well if I only have one chi left I always just use tiger's palm because one chi is not going to do much see now how I'm slowly starting to run out of run out of energy so I use energizing brew making my energy re regeneration quicker when that's active you do not do not use tigers and um, no fists of fury because then you're not actually then you over regenerate and you're not regenerate in enough manner um, engine energy not manner so so you do that so I'm just gonna repeat that again from square one if I just wait for the cooldowns to go so I jab rising sun kick tiger's palm jab tiger's palm tiger palm jab blackout kick got blackout kick prop rising sun kick jab blackout kick blackout kick blackout kick and do you understand what I mean now like I need to make sure that I've always got tiger's power on whenever I can use it use rising sun kick and also whenever whenever it's came off the cooldown fist of fury that's really high damage ability and then when it reaches 10 stacks use tiger eye brew 20% extra damage for 15 seconds and you just keep this you keep that coming and if you accidentally you're not paying much attention and you lose the tiger power you can just sort of restart that sort of rotation again I hope, I hope you found this I hope you found this quite helpful finally if you're wondering about what I reforge I've discovered that I find critical strike and mastery of probably the two most important things because mastery is what makes the monk get the free blackout kick or tiger palm instant hit and that's and they're really helpful there they can build up a lot of extra dps and then i think monks have a like a, a fairly average like quite high like 30 percent if with the with the um, legacy of white tiger buff critical strike which is quite good so i always think if you're reforging reforge to mastery or crit but making sure obviously you have the um you have the hit cap eight uh, percent and that's about it so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because there's going to be plenty more win walk monk content coming out soon peace out